So in this video, we're going to look at building height in the National Building Code, Alberta Edition 2019. And in the previous videos, um, I told you that one of the first things you want to do is figure out your occupancy of your building or occupancies. Step two would be figure out your building area. And then I guess step three would be let's figure out the building height. So to do that, we're going to go to our volume one, division A. Uh, part one and go to define terms and we're going to find building height. So building height is in stories. So we're going to refer to building height in stories. It means the number of stories contained between the roof and the floor of the first story. Okay, the number of stories. So we should read the definition of stories. So story means that portion of a building that is situated between the top of any floor and the top of the next floor above it. And if there's no floor above it, that portion between the top of such floor and the ceiling above it. Okay, it's kind of a, a runaround definition, but it makes sense if you take it away and think about it. And I also noticed in here that there's a definition for first story. So I guess we got to figure out what our first story is. First story means the uppermost story having its floor level not more than two meters above grade. So if you have a, in quotations, main floor, kind of partially buried underground, maybe, um, it might not be a story. That is what that's kind of saying. So we can sketch that example out in a bit. And so if we look at some examples here, these are the same, same ones I used for building area, except I've added some mechanical penthouses. And the one um, over here is a elevator overrun. Now I've left the X's in the um, parkade because th those won't be considered um, the, the build, they won't be considered in the building height. Uh, and again, because of that, it's the, the answer to that lies in the first story definition. So the uppermost story having its floor level not more than two meters above grade. So they're getting into grade there, basically. So um, I'll leave the X's in the park aid or basements, whatever they are. And now when you look at that, it, you know, obviously it's pretty straightforward to how many stories you might have. You'd have one, two, three, four. But is that a story? And this one would be one, two, this would be three stories, but is that a story? And that one there, is that a story? And is that a story? Unfortunately, in the definitions, it doesn't really um, tell you that answer, but that can't be found elsewhere. And so the answer to um, whether the mechanical, a mechanical penthouse or an, an elevator overrun would be um, a story lies in a different section and in the reason it lies here in section 3.2 building fire safety is because the reason we're figuring out how many stories the building is and the reason we're figuring out what the occupancy is and the reason we're figuring out what the building area is relates to using that information in section 3.2 and so figuring out, um, you know, the, the reason we're gathering that information up front, and we're also going to talk about streets, you got to figure out how many streets the building faces. But the reason we're gathering that information, including building height, is to use in this section. So um, the very first article in, in uh, 3.2, it has exceptions to building, to determining building height. And you'll see the rooftop enclosure for elevator machinery, a stairway if it, if it uh, went up to the roof or a service room used for no purpose other than for the service of building shall be considered as shall not be considered as a story in calculating building height. So you don't have to consider that mechanical room, um, a stair overrun or an elevator overrun in building height. And that's where that answer lies. Now, if you attached, you know, maybe you have a, a, a like a boardroom or um, a residential suite that has a rooftop um, terrace and they have a little indoor space, um, you know, attached to that stair or whatever, then it would be a story according, then you would consider it a, a story according to this. So back to the sketches here, um, pretty straightforward. So we have a two-story building over here. We've got a three-story building there, four-story building there, and a three-story building there. Okay, so now what about this situation of this first story um, not being more than, uh, I think it was 2.1 meters. Let's just go back to our definitions here and find first story. 
building height first story two meters sorry not 2.1 okay so what about this let's look at this example here okay so i've drawn a couple of um buildings here multiple stories and i've drawn grade at different heights in relation to that we'll say second level but as far as the building is in stories let's see what this means okay so again First story means the uppermost story having its floor level not more than two meters above grade. So on the left here, um, this uppermost floor is not more than two meters above grade. So in this case, that's a two-story building. Over on this side on the right, we've got a uppermost story that is more than two meters above grade. So that one there would be a three-story building. And so one other, one other thing I should mention is, um, you know, what if you have a, um, a slope site? So I've, I've shown a pretty flat grade there. What if you have a slope site? So, um, you know, generally speaking, if it's if it's not a big slope, it, it's, it remains the same. But if you had a steep slope site, uh, where you'd want to go is two, one, three, three, four. And, in there um, it, it'll talk about firewalls which we'll get into in a different video um, but it also mentions here in sentence two that if you have a fire separation with a fire resistance rating not less than one hour and extends through all stories then um, you can use that to your benefit to determine building height basically is what it's saying so if we just go to there they have a, an appendix to this and then basically what you're seeing here is the the fire separations between um, portions of the building and then um, and then working out how many stories the building is so if you have that situation it's worth a read but um, there is a there is a, a way to um, you know make this so this isn't one two three four five six seven a seven story building um, it could just be a four story building in this case and so you just read that and It'll explain that to you in there. And that's pretty much uh, building height. So another important um, piece of information we have to determine.